it's coming in. It's coming again. It was one of the most devastating natural disasters the world has ever witnessed. The Indian Ocean tsunami of December 2004 killed more than 220,000 people and left millions homeless. But it could have been even worse. The tsunami highlighted the vulnerability of coastal ecosystems and communities, a vulnerability that's now being exacerbated by climate change, high rates of development and overfishing. But the disaster also demonstrated how healthy coastal ecosystems act as a natural barrier that can help to protect coastlines and coastal communities. In particular, mangrove forests stood out as an extremely valuable natural infrastructure. Mangroves are special because they have a lot of characteristics that make them not just a very useful tree form of life for human use, but also in terms of their benefit in nature. The Mangroves for the Future initiative, or MFF, was launched in 2006 as a way to support the six countries worst affected by the tsunami and with vulnerable coasts, the Seychelles, Maldives, India, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Indonesia. Since then, it has expanded geographically to become truly regional, including Vietnam, Cambodia, Bangladesh, and Pakistan, with Myanmar soon to come. At the same time, MFF's work has broadened from disaster recovery to promoting investment in coastal ecosystems for sustainable development and building resilience in coastal communities. And while mangroves remain the flagship species, MFF focuses on all types of coastal ecosystems. Its success is due to its partnership-based approach, which links governments, civil society, the private sector and major aid agencies. It's a unique organisation which brings together a whole range of, uh, a whole range of uh, institutions uh, and therefore it's the only multi-institutional platform we have between government, non-government, the academy and the business and industry and therefore it is an important initiative MFF is co-chaired by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and the United Nations Development Programme. The strength of MFF as a partnership in this context was that it was actually a much broader and more inclusive mechanism that brought in a civil society, that brought in government at different levels, as well as very directly brought in local communities as partners in this. So for UNDP, the advantage this brought for us was an ability to engage very directly at multiple levels at the same time within the same framework, within the same family. Through its projects, MFF promotes an understanding of the vital links between people and nature. A clear demonstration of how the health of communities and their livelihoods is directly related to the health of the natural systems they depend on. Its unique structure allows the member countries and local communities to own and operate the projects. MFF uses small grants that help empower communities through capacity development and training, policy-level interventions, and by creating knowledge and sharing it, building best practice from the ground up. The grants tackle everything from clearing of forests to overfishing to poor waste management. And they also address the underlying causes of these problems by helping people to create better lives built on a sustainable footing. In Gujarat, India, MFF, together with the state government, the forestry department and local communities, have initiated a plantation drive to replace thousands of hectares of destroyed mangroves. Villagers work in nurseries where the saplings are grown and help monitor the new growth areas. Regular community seminars are held to share knowledge. The people participate in and benefit from the mangrove restoration effort. In Sri Lanka, coastal communities faced with depleted fish stocks, which they rely on for their livelihood, are taking part in an MFF-supported alternative livelihood scheme, growing the multi-purpose plant aloe vera. 
the venture has proven a big success, with the plant in high demand for cosmetics and traditional medicines. It has reduced pressure on the lagoon's ecosystem and been a boon for the local community. In line with its partnership building approach, MFF is increasingly engaging with the private sector, which is a primary beneficiary of coastal environmental services. Many companies, in particular those in the tourism and fisheries sectors, depend on coastal resources and local communities for the success of their businesses. What we're really looking for is something that's, that's much more holistic and integrated uh, and really involves the companies in thinking, you know, what is their role within the landscape and seascape? What are all the different connections they have to the local environment and the local communities? MFF is helping companies understand their connection to and reliance on healthy ecosystems and local communities, encouraging them to take action on coastal protection and mangrove restoration efforts and to promote sustainable local businesses. I would say in the long run, uh, the efforts that we're pursuing here are good for the community, so good for tourism, good for Thailand, and that's good for our business and hotels. MFF is demonstrating that engaging all sectors, from grassroots community organizations to major companies, NGOs, and government, will be the key to successful protection of Asia's coasts in the long term. So the language of MFF has changed from coastal rehabilitation and sustainable management of coastal resources and even the infrastructure advantages of natural ecosystems to how does this all impact on long-term resilience of communities and nations to the sorts of impacts that climate change is making. It's become much more complex, much more challenging, but also much more rewarding as a result. Progress is being made, but with continuing climate change and ongoing development of our coastlines, there is an urgent need to scale up and accelerate our efforts, to harness the power of nature to help solve our fundamental human challenges, and to build long-term sustainability for people and for nature.